Out of the depth of history, 4,350 years ago, came the Oud instrument and with it the world of music up to the development of the music theory in the Abbasid age. Later, the Oud became the master of the music instrument in the palaces of princes and kings in England, Germany, France, and Spain. Following Kurt Thax's scientific categorization, most of the string instrument families, including violins, belong to the Oud branch. The music scientist Stado states that the Oud was the basic instrument out of which the European bow instruments were developed and without which no orchestra or symphony would have been possible. I would say that the development of music is determined by the development of the instrument, as in the relation between material and soul. The instrument is material and is essential for the development of music. This is what happened between the 16th and the middle of the 18th century, which witnessed the development of string, air and bow instruments and families such as the violin, tuba, flute and the saxophone. Since then, the fabrication of the instruments moved from the musician himself to specialized industrial production. The dream began as I was 16 years old with the question of my brother Mukhlis at the Beirut Conservatory. Why is there no Oud family available which fits to the requirements of the modern composition? As I studied oriental music and the Oud instrument and am myself a Oud teacher, I have been carrying this question with me since then. I have studied the details of its history and its stages of development. I stopped at the stage where Master Ziryab added the fifth string to enlarge the octaves. This opened horizons and gave me the will to accomplish this invention, which is important on the level of enlarging the octaves and the options for composition. We are talking about 22 strings. In Mozart's Vienna and at the Austrian Arab Cultural Center where I teach music, I proposed the idea to the administration who provided the space and all important facilitations. With the help of friends, we could obtain the basic materials and hence set the first step toward accomplishing the dream. The realization began on paper with the sketches of all details, the sizes, the lengths, the shape. It was a wonderful feeling, as if you lived the past and the present at the same moment. In the construction, I started from scratch. I never worked with wood before, but as we say, the desperate has no room to step back. In spite of all the physical efforts, psychological stress and lack of means, the aim was to hear the tune of the instruments. After the four bodies were built, the search for the appropriate strings started. Strings are the heart of the instrument. Nobody can be without a heart. We contacted some string producers and at the same time provided the intention to the Austrian Patent Office. We told them this is a new patent and that we need to develop new strings. Some of them were worried about the costs and others found the idea difficult. Eventually, the German string producer Linzer Strings adopted the project and asked for sketches and descriptions of the quartet. After six months of testing different samples, the dream became reality. We have a commercial producer of the strings of the Oud Quartet. The important question now is, what next? Personally, I have accomplished something nobody has before. The achievement goes in my biography. But the most important thing now is the continuity of this project and its industrial and musical development. The quartet should be announced by the media and through the music faculties in the Arab world and in the West. Educational books should be written and provided to the schools and universities. A musical tour should be organized in the Arab countries to present the quartet and its musical and cultural importance. My acknowledgments go to my brother Mukhlas for the original idea.
to the Austrian Arab Cultural Center who hosted and supported the idea, as well as to all friends who contributed to the success of this project. Finally, my compliments to Austria, the land of art and culture, and let the dedication be to the spirit of Mozart. Mm -hmm.